Hello everyone, this is Shamriki and me and today's video has been very requested by lots of people on Instagram it was literally exploding with this question and the question is what do I feed my para? so I stay on to find out more also don't forget to hit like, subscribe and leave a comment so let's go so the first thing I will start off is what do I feed my para? And just like humans, parrots need food. And just like humans, parrots can be very picky eaters. And it can be quite hard for, per, for a human, for their owners, to find out what they actually like. And I have a little, um, I have a few examples of fruits and vegeta vegetables that I, that will also um, list here, but that's going to be a bit further the video. But before we start, I just want to say what Ricky eats. Um, right, uh, so right now he eats seeds. He eats sunflower seeds. Basically, he eats cocktail mix. So here are the the picture, and I will list the ingredients here. And basically, I have actually found out that now people move on to millets. Um, not millets. I'm sorry, pellets. And I, I did know that there's something like pellets, but I thought they were base for uh, that they're made for chickens. So I was like, okay, why do people feed them for parrots? But I found out that there's a lovely company called Harrison's, which produce pellets for birds. I've ordered one of them, and it's coming soon. So when it comes, I will make a I just make a different video telling you about about the company and if my bird likes it or not but for now he eats, eats the thing so this is a metal uh, stainless metal bowl I'll tell you th about this in a bit as well what is this? but this is his seeds and because they contain too much fat they're not actually very suitable but now I'm moving to pellets and they don't contain as much fat and uh, they contain more vitamins and more things that a bird needs which is amazing and just like humans they birds need a variety of different foods and it needs to be healthy so then your bird key, birdie could have a very nice life um, I know that many people, so there's uh, lots of people who give their birds um, human food I call it human food and uh, the examples of human food is um, tea, coffee, crisps, biscuits, cookies, um, bread and sweets and this all can lead your bird to being uh, very unhealthy. I would really recommend for those who do feed their bird uh, human food, please stop guys because chocolate, sweets, it's not appropriate <laughs> because that's not what they eat in a wild and if you can see that your birds feathers are going bad and you know that it's that uh, if they have something like that in their diet then please stop lots of questions where people ask me what to feed the parrot and most of the time people do have parrots and they don't know what to feed them so I ask them uh, mom, usually ask them do you have a parrot or are you buying are you are you looking one are you looking for one and if they're looking for one, that I don't mind answering it. And it's just because person wants to find out. But the people who already have a parrot and live with it for two years and just now are uh, wondering what to buy, what to feed their parrot, it's not really appropriate. <laughs> but I know I had a lot, very long start. But I hope this uh, I will show you some f foods that my bird has. And if there's anything, you can also go and DM me on Instagram. I'll always answer. So, but so we'll start off with uh, fruit and veggies that your bird should have because my brain is the size of a sand grain and I'm not very smart and I don't have a good memory. I had to write everything down on this lovely maths book. Thank you, maths teacher. No graffiti, but this was important. <laughs> Anyways, um, so um, fruits, I will also list them here and they're going to be in the description so don't worry guys, you can always go and check it. And so this is just an example just before we start and there's also many more things that you can give it to, that you can give to your bird, but this is what 
I have just, I've researched it a little bit more just in case if there's something that I didn't know. But, um, fruits, apples, bananas, citrus fruits, grapes, mango, papaya, passion fruit, peaches. I'm very sorry guys, my English isn't good. And so, uh, example of uh, veggies, there's also many more. Asparagus, beets, bell peppers, broccoli, carrot, hot peppers, spinach, dandelion greens, Ricky loves them, and spinach, ooh, ah. And um, sweet potatoes and pumpkin. So, with broccoli and carrots, I do boil them a little bit because that's the only way that I'm a bird eats it. Or I slice it, like the, the skin peeling, you know when you have potatoes and you like peel the skin, but I don't give them potatoes, I give them carrots. And so I peel them like that and give it to him because it's very hard for for him, for me to make him eat it, yeah? Yeah. He is literally having a massive print session. Like, he was he was very talkative. He was just having lots of fun now. He just wants to chill. Yeah. Hello, guys. Um, I have another thing, and it's be to do with para not eating their veggies, only eating um, their seeds and I know that many people do have this problem and here's a comment from our lovely subscriber thank you so much for asking and I'll try to give as much um, as big answer as I can and I try to help you and so yeah and if you are having this problem then try to do a thing called chop and it does actually help and basically for those who don't know what chop is it's cooked or uncooked veggies, grains and seeds. Um, they put in one bowl together so to make sure that your bird, what are you doing? <laughs> that has enough uh, vitamins and yeah. So when you do your chop, make sure that you sprinkle some seeds because the bird will obviously want, will go for seeds and try finding them. And while the bird does that, it will also get the taste and it'll get the texture of the veggies and more, and also eat them as well as it goes and searches for the seeds. So try that and please tell me if that works for you. And I think that I've said about, if I did say something about metal stainless bowls, then we're talking about them right now. So here is his metal stainless bowl and this one he has water and it's um, because it has a massive area where dust and uh, many of things can go in there uh, I you have to wash it daily so in the mornings when a chin is when a chin is food I also go and wash this so to make sure that there's nothing in there because when he cleans his feathers some of the dust might go in there which is not very good so I clean this and I also uh, make sure that, so I wash it and then I clean it and then I wash it again and then I put his water. I sometimes also like to add a bit of uh, drops of lemon to give it taste and it's, lemon is good. Wow. So this is his second bowl and he has his uh, lovely food in there. I don't, I don't usually wash it because it's not water and I don't have to wash it that much but I just throw it out and put some more um, the thing about metal bowls so if we have a plastic bowl, uh, plastic feeder versus metal feeder then this one has more ticks than this one this the only tick that I would give to um, this bowl is the is that it costs less so if you're going through the lovely pet store and you can see one side there's plastic ones and this other side is metal ones, you probably will look at the plastic ones, oh god, because they're cheaper. But, the cheap, but cheaper doesn't mean good, so guys, just go a bit further and buy the ones that cost more, they're going to be much better for your bird. Another thing that my bird likes is this. Um, this, I got this from Pet Store and it's a trio mix. He ate both of them and it took him like, it takes him like two days to destroy the whole thing. And, oh god, most of the time he doesn't really eat it, he destroys it. 
And so here, come on, focus, focus. So you can, here you can see. So guys, there is another thing, um, is treats. So there are some foods that you just leave in your parrot's cage and there's some things that you don't leave it and you just give it as a treat. So when your bird does something good, you just give it to it as a treat. And so in my case, he uh, treats are, so this millet spray is a treat. He doesn't have it that much, but because we are filming a video, I would give it to him just so he wanted to be part of this video because I don't think he does. As soon as I finish the video, he probably will start flying around and having fun, but because we're filming a video, he just sat here like, why am I, so, why am I here? He also has raisins because they're high in sugar. I don't, you do, I don't recommend giving him and don't put it in his bowl as his food. And also, um, things like dates, they are also high in sugar. I really hope I went through all of the important things of uh, Pirate Star. If there's anything else, I will put it in description. So always just, so just go check it in case if I forgot something. And so don't forget to put likes, subscribe and leave a comment.